So, okay, we're good. Hello, everybody. With Jonathan, thank you for being here. Uh, end of year webinar really focus on our product. Uh, as you have probably noticed, we have done a lot in the latest week, uh, updating the portal, a lot of new documentation coming up. I will be talking today about how we push data a step further into the, the story. I will uh, give you some insight about how you can leverage that data. We will talk about Binder, which is an asset management system that we use for our own, but we do believe that a lot of a customer could really take advantage of that. Then I will have a jump more for like the uh, growth marketeers, hackers a bit, you know, the guys that love to play with a lot of tools and try to build and connect their ecosystem together. I'm of course talking about Zapier. Uh, I will I'll try to make a live example with a type form or with team leader and team leader is like a CRM package for SMEs. And I think they serve something like 11,000 of those customers today. We have already a couple of integration running with them. So that is really the idea about today. Data modeling, the binder integration, playing a bit with the Zapier, and I will give you some uh, insights on the documentation for the more technical parts. Uh, we talk about uh, an integration framework, and that's also the idea that I give you some glances about how this is all looking like and what you could be doing with it. So that said, let's jump directly into the demo of today or webinar. So here we go. As you see, a uh, new new portal with uh, a blue left menu. I know that some of you are looking for the logos. Uh, don't worry, we're thinking about it. We will reintegrate that potentially in the coming weeks or months, but let's hope for weeks. So something with more contrast, making the navigation more easy and we hope more clear for everybody about what you can do. Also, you have a little update over here with your account information. For those that are admin, that is also a way to create your users today. I think it's always useful that we bring that to or end customers as well. That said, let's jump directly into the story of today. And as I told you, the main idea of today is to be working around the data. As you know, we have um, or blue tables always about the customer information, consider it as the social demographics and a bit more potentially. But we were always talking about the data mark, allowing you to extend your data model. So if you have a look over here, what do we have? We have an email address, we have a first name, a model language, and some technical data. Not very much. Basically, what we would like, and I will just switch database now to give you a glance about how it could look like to you. It's like extending the profile information with like purple tables. Purple tables, you may consider them really as an extension of the profile. Uh, consider it as not multiple Excel sheets, but Excel sheet that you can connect. Those that did access in uh, their uh, early studies that's a bit the idea behind it sql is also it's what we call relational data models how does this work it's basically you have a new option which is create a table we had that it was a bit more for the technical people to be honest you had to be able to generate JSONs, which is a type of files but we were thinking as we strongly believe that actito is destination is operators with non-technical backgrounds or few technical background, we will make it accessible to them. So that is why you see in this case, three types of new data bases or models. The first one will be about interaction. We try to give as much information about how does it look like and the examples are the right one. You should consider the interaction like interaction that your consumer will do with something external to Actito, like a cash system. For example, if you go to your e-commerce, you will provide your email address and you want to have those purchases linked to Jonathan. That is typically what we call an interaction table. It's a link between Jonathan, the cash information, Information. Then you can go really granular. You could say that you just want the amount of the ticket or all the lines. Depending on how complex you want to go, you will be able to play with that. We built already a template about events, event like I organized the Actito Day, and I will link that table to a profile so that I can know a lot of information, maybe type of food you want to eat and those kind of things. With a third party, they will be able to load that data, of course, in it as well. With the more info, you have a lot of description about it. You got a direct link also to the documentation built by our awesome team over here in French and in English, of course. 
I will get out of that one the link data so that you understand the difference that we can offer you today in the model. The link data would be, for example, the children data. Let's be honest, I'm working in the marketing automation world for something like 11 years now, and I noticed two things. When you can personalize your message and personalize not just with Hello Jonathan, which is your consumer, but using external data, like for example, children information. If you send to my wife, is Nolan a champion in toothbrushing? I can pretty guarantee you that you will have an opening. You can also pull that back to something maybe different than children, but that is as emotional as children, is for example, the idea of pets. If I can know the name of your dog and use that in a subject or in a pre-header, I can definitely guarantee you that you will have impact on that. Again, in the more info, some details, link to the documentation as well. So again, make it work. Tell us what you would need also as extra template as soon as you understand that those will be data, uh, not like ticket lines will be every day. You don't get children every day. So that's a bit of the difference, which we explain as well in this one. Then you get what we call a, a repo table, repository table to be precise. Consider it like lookup tables. It's like all the IDs of your store, uh, store one, but the store one is like a name, a store manager, an address, opening hours. That is what you will be able to build in our uh, directly consuming or com a company template. Again, explanation links are in. Now, how do you build those? If you select it, we pre-populated already with a few information. You say, go to the next one. You connect it to the database. If you save, this is exactly what I've done a few minutes before this demonstration. And you see that that is the table. Of course, GDPR, you know how we love that. We really think it's important. So ask the DPO to fill this in. I think it's definitely important that each time that you think that you can extend your model to be closer to your consumer uh, with more personalization in your messages, but also think each time at the GDPR aspect behind it. If you want to have some vision about the uh, inside of the table, like the fields of it, I click here, uh, sorry for the internet connection, which is a bit slow today, but it should be popping up. Uh, the streaming doesn't help. I will discuss about something more at the same time. Let's open that tab as well. So that is like the fields that you will find in that table. Of course, you saw that you can re-upload a JSON, So you can import that one, tweak it, repush it to Actito. But I believe as a first step for non-technical marketers, we have tried to go deep, but not, too deep. So what I mean, a children table, first name, last name, gender, birth date, that is what we think is the minimum of the table and that you can really feed easily with a CSV import or true or APIs, which I will come back up in a few minutes as well. I did also click on the rows and here it is exactly the data that has been populated in it. So I can even double click on one and then you can see what is the vision. So the first name of that kid is Laurent, his last name is Dossi, it's a man and that is his birthday. Think that you will be able to leverage that data in your targeting in selecting the right people, but also in personalization, uh, in personalization as well in the messaging by using variables. But you can also use that to build segment and condition some blocks in it. And that is the idea in a few minutes where we'll get back. So uh, extending your models and just to give you an idea at how deep you can go with that. And I think most of our customers today, they started with one blue table, which is mandatory in Actito, and like one extension is could be the children table. But of course, you can really challenge that and build like here customers. You will have children, ticket line, ticket, subscription aggregate, RFM model coming from uh, a CDP, for example. Those are all the ideas that you can start thinking about and connecting the data in the extension of your customers, which are the purple table. Of course, you can uh, manage your export of those tables, so it's easy to manipulate those and to tweak them. Of course, you're not alone again. Your customer success managers know a lot about it. The documentation is also there to help you with it. I will say, help us define maybe the next template. Tell us what you think about the actual templates we have provided, and maybe tell us what would be the best 
use case for you to start working with those because at the end that is really what we want to do we don't want to build features for the gut sake of building feature we want to build feature so that you can bring your own game to the next level i also believe that is showing how actito is getting more and more open what i mean by that i believe you're part of an ecosystem actito is a piece of it and you get a lot of other tools that can collect and pull uh, data and i think what we try to do here is giving the data back to the marketeer so that you can definitely leverage your game to the next level. So that said, that was more or less about the data side. So we got our interaction table, we got our link table, and we get our repo table, and you can really start working with that and challenge us on that. We will really love to do that. Um, I will close those other tabs so that I don't get wrong. Now, what I would like to show you is how you can use those directly into your email. Of course, you know that Actito is not only an email platform, we do SMS, we can uh, do push notification, we still do a lot of print with some of our customers, and we even start today to provide data to external tools, like to enrich some algorithm and kind like that, so we're more and more open, and I will have a quick talk about our documentation again in a few minutes, so really remember that we are an open platform today, and we want to connect the dots for the marketers to be able to operate in here, but definitely also feeding other tools like win-win relations. So up, getting back, so I got a demo release ready. You remember in the emails, you can have multilingual campaigns. I will start with maybe the step one, which will make more sense. Again, sorry for a bit the, the slow internet connection today. So demo release, we can build multiple language campaigns over here. This example is in French, but I don't believe that is what is important. What is important is what you see over here. This allows you to pull the data that you have in your blue table and in your purple table. And if you know exactly the field, like I was showing you in a few minutes, like manager first name, do from the store, name store, those are all the data that we will be able to pull. So we have really personalized the sender over here. On the subject, we use the child information to get that, you know, you know, the teaser that baits for mommy to get that email open and for you to get your product in front of the right people or at least uh, the product in front of the mothers. Over here, pre-header, and please, I still see so many people not leveraging the pre-header. Pre-header is like the second chance you never had in your life. What I mean by that is when you use those device, you will have the sender, then you have the subject, and then you get two lines, for example, on your Gmail, that is definitely that pre-header. So consider it as a second chance to get that opening by using it in a smart way. What I did in this example is using the first name of the people I'm sending the email to. So you see, already pulling data out of my purple table, pushing them back into my sender, my subject, and my pre-header. Now I was talking about putting that product or that campaign in front of the right person, but also uh, uh, I want to push that a step further. What we have done here, of course, always opt-in campaigns, because that is very important. Think at your GDPR again. So what I want to do here, I want to increase the value of Virginie, which is the mother of my son, for example. And what I'm be, uh, doing here, I'm building my selection, the targeting, by using product category. And in that product category, I say I want all the people that didn't purchase a specific product. And this one will be around Harry Potter. But again, let's be very precise. How closer or more personalized in the content, in the action, in the moment you will be, or better your action, uh, your campaign will perform. So what we add is an end. And in that end, we say it will be for the little boys that have their birthday between two dates because the product that you try to sell has a limit in age, for example. So really precise about who do you going to serve your email to your campaign to. Brings us to step three, and you know that we like those workflows, we're really tweaking them. And as you see, that would be the message. I wanna sell, because that's definitely what you try to do, the Harry Potter ca uh, castle, to Nolan, which is my son, by leveraging that data. If I go quickly in the editor, because that's really the idea behind it, it's again, I am not a technical marketeer. I can think the action. I think you need to understand which data do you need to leverage your game to the next level. And you will see over here, for example, first name of the mother, first name of the child, 
the name of the manager of the store because you want to really build that relation through your retailer, your brand, the people of your brand. And you will even use the city shop to have some extra personalization about where the product would be available, for example. So you see the blue data is leveraged, the purple data is leveraged in the targeting, in the personalization that make a very hyper personalized message. For those that are maybe a bit more advanced, we could have built conditions block by using that data as well, feeding segments, for example. It would be for the segment, I don't know, teenager uh, boys, teenagers, lady, and I could have start building those kind of different blocks. Um, this brings me to another element, and I will show it. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's first finish this. So I personalized my message. I'm leveraging. I'm very I've been very think deep in what I aim to do, and that's selling that box. Of course, you need to test that because testing is key, and you know it. Uh, we did a little video about it a few weeks ago. What I also like is that targeting is telling me if my testing group is accurate, and I can use, for example, Isabel as a sampling profile, and I will already shoot the email to myself. I remember that with that little eye over here, oops, sorry, oops. If you do this, you will have the preview directly into your uh, browser. But of course, what you want to do is be sure that the email is in. And I will just do it this time with the mobile version so that I'm just not crazily killing my internet. And so that's it. We have it over here. The message is getting in with all the data. The personalization is there. Say, boom, hello, Isabel, the name of Luca, which is the kid. Thomas, the shop manager, and that is definitely your store. So you see it. That's what we aim to do on a daily basis. And you get the reports over there. That is what I wanted to show. So you see how deep you can go, how far you can go with your personalization. Think at those data models at that vision. And what I would recommend is discuss that during your QBRs with your customer success manager. Think at where you want to be within 12 months. What would be that perfect campaign that you would like to deliver to your customer so that we can start thinking with you at putting the first pieces uh, in place so that you could leverage that. So data modeling, the extension of the model, using in the targeting, using in the personalization, conditioning of blocks, let's go for it. That's what I call hyper-personalization. Now, I want to push a bit further today this demonstration by showing you that we are still working around our integration. You know that, and I will open this one in another tab as well. That's the store. The store is something you should also be discussing with uh, us, like what would you like to see coming into the store as new partners, but also discuss it with your CSM because there is maybe already a piece of it into all those ones that you could really use to leverage your own game. So I will be talking about Binder. You got a bit information about them, what they are. Binder is what I call a digital asset management. It's not what I call, it's what they are. They are really the best in class. We use it for our own uh, needs at Actito. And you can really consider that like uh, iPhoto, if you work on an Apple, Dropbox, but really on steroid. With a lot of filters, uh, roles, um, broadband, it's the Ferrari of the asset management. Just fill in the form or discuss it with your CSM. They will love to give you a more in-depth demo. What I will do here is to show you that it's live today. It takes a few minutes to be activated directly into a platform. And I go back in my email campaign and I will use a little video in a few minutes as well. Let's say that you want to change this picture and you have a designer team that get access to your damn system. That little heart, by the way, Binder, I love your logo. It's really so slick. And now I jump into Binder. You see, you don't get out of a Tito. It's like a smooth integration. And now you can really leverage. And that is just to give you a glance what we have built for Actito. We've got a branding, the read and learn, the watch and learn, the meet and learn. Do you want an image? Are we talking about logos? Is it for your website? Is it for your newsletter? What is the distribution channel? You know that we're present in many countries since uh, we have merged with our friends from Smart Focus to become that European player allowing you to have an alternative to other solutions which are non-European. So location-based, the distribution, are we talking about print, digital? Definitely, there is so 
cool and you just click it, change it, and it's been working. And that is how I've been added this picture, that picture as well. Now, um, I'm still, I could maybe, I will do it live. That is what we love with those sequences is buying your demo. I will show you what I've been showcasing during an event, which is called Old Brand. And Old Brand is really an event uh, from Byron himself. And we were showing how we leverage basically what they've been doing, uh, what we can do with their tool. So you see, I jump into a platform. You will just do your uh, provide your credential, like your URL. In my case, xito.binder.com. You need to have, of course, credentials to that. And you connect the tool. It's done. It's as easy as that. And in my case, at Akito, we have three personas. We have a CMO, we have a marketing operator, and we have a technical person. Those are the three sequence, the three profiles that you are seeing. I want to have visuals because visuals brings emotions. Emotions is so important in our job because I think that is also how brand can really shine and make a connection with the people. And so in this case, I'm using specific visual for each of my persona. You can even challenge that much farther. I was showing you the Harry Potter. You could leverage that with maybe a Lego friends for the little ladies. And again, I think this is where we need to go. This is also part of the personalization, the copy and leveraging the data was one. And the second step, oops, I will not let it play again, but I think you got the point. The idea is really for you to be able to uh, play and rebring the emotions back in every campaign you're doing with something really smooth, really well integrated. Double thumbs up to my design and integration and my IT team that have been building that. I love it. I use it every day with my team. If you want to know more, Fill in the form, ping your CSM, that's how it should be. Whew, heavy. So we have been talking about a lot of things. Uh, and now if I go quickly back to our store, we have another one. And this is a bit more for the geeks, although I believe that Zapier is definitely like the Swiss knife for every digital marketer. Zapier, and I will pull another screen over here. This is Zapier. In a nutshell, Zapier is, if this happened, do that. That's more or less the idea behind it. So uh, I will need another screen, sorry. I can show you two ways of playing with Zapier. For example, this is Typeform. Typeform, uh, and you can build a free account on it. It's like a form. It's forms on steroids. You can be very slick on mobile to use it, for example, for NPS registration for events. You can also use that in many, many different ways and they have a lot of templates. I've built quick for us today and this would be the one. For example, type from for Atito, type from type from to Atito, let's start. I will call that one Riri. That's the first name. His family name is Mr. Pixu. And his email address is riri at pixu, oops, pixu .com. That's basically the ID. I send it. I've used Typeform to build a survey with that small URL that you were seeing. So I will. Sorry. Now I wanted to show you this app. So sorry. Here's Zapier, where are you? Here is Zapier. I will just duplicate it so that you understand how does it work. So I make a copy and let's go into the copy. How does Zapier work? First of all, you need an Actito account for that. Ping your CSM, send me an email, jonathan.wurman at actito.com, and we will give you an access to it as we are in a not a beta anymore, but in something where we need to have more users to be publicly seen into the store. And I've been using the wrong integration that I then wanted to show because that was the second example of today. So I will redeplicate this one. Let's jump here. So that's my type form that you were seeing. So really easy, you will provide uh, the type form, the kind of trigger you wanna use. You will need to define your credential, that's your login and your password. After that, you customize the entry, that's the forms that you have in your uh, license of type form. Mine was called type form to Actito. So you see it's already repooling the data. 
that's the first step. Then you go to continue. What do you want to do? You want to see that the data is right. After that, the next block, and that is where I said, if this happened, do that. If you want to, uh, if you want to do that, what I want to do here is create a new profile into my license. So you need to provide again uh, your uh, the action you want to do on our API. You will have to uh, provide your credentials. Then that is where you will be able to customize it. As you were seeing, if you remember the example I was showing, it was quite easy. Uh, a first name, a last name, and an email address. And that is where you can connect the dots. That is the blue table of Actito. And what you do here is you see the questions we had in our form. Last name, first name, and the last one can you provide. You just map it. That's the last name. If we go a bit further in it, that's the first name, and that was the email address. As soon as you have referred that, we still have a uh, send data, which is the test. And in my case, it was of course working. And now what I want to do, and I will close this one. Uh, Akita documentation. And now what I do, I will show you that the data that we were building together is already available. Sorry, I'm losing my screen again. Ah, here we go. So uh, I don't remember, it was Riri, I believe, that we were uh, building together. And here you have Riri Pixu has been created. So you saw I submitted my form and nearly real time the data has been pushed directly into Actito. Now, based on that, you need to brainstorm uh, about how you could leverage it, but you see one way of connecting it with an external forms uh, solution. Sorry for opening and closing windows, but I try really to give you as much information about it. The other example could be Team Leader. Team Leader is, like I told you, a CRM platform for SMEs serving more than 11,000 people. And if I create a new one over here, uh, so that's how you give the data in, and we will call that one Fifi Pixu. It's Fifi at Pixu. Dot com. That's the data again I want to collect. I will say, you know what, Belgium is fine. Record that one. It's created into this. And now we should be able to go back to my other license over here. We get back. Just reopen that that way. Let's look at a bigger screen. And here we have them uh, that is Fifi also provided. So you see how easy I can now show you that back, of course, in the Zapier uh, world, which I've been losing my screens again. Sorry for uh, the, the mapping in, in the screens, but uh, what? I will just reopen my Zapier account. Over here. Sorry. So what I mean by that, you will see, I don't know how, there are really a lot of options that Zapier offer you today. It's really easy to make those apps. Uh, I've been showing you that it's about mapping data. It's just providing two credentials, and based on that, you can really start acting around it. Just to make you uh, an ID, and you will see in the screen, sorry for the internet connection, there are many, many, many tools that are available. If you want to explore them, explore them, let us know what you would like to do with Zapier, we would love to help you. You see how many options are available over here. I use it with Wistia, which is a video uh, hosting system. Uh, we have done a, a couple of integration for Team Leader with it. We use it now with Typeform for other customers that think that want to have something more fancy than what Actito can offer with his forms. But I love this tool. I think really to make prototypes, it's more than plug and play, it's really plug and work. And just to give you a glance, you see that those two apps, I just built them before the demonstration. It was live. I've been showing you that providing the data in sample accounts was uh, really like in no time available in Actito. So yeah, I've been talking a lot today. I see that I'm uh, maybe running a bit later on time as well. Uh, so I will be pinging back to something else now. That is the website that you know. We also would love to give your feedback about it. There is much more to come, but I think it's really important that you have a look as you're a technical person in the developer portal. I already opened it over here. What's the developer portal? It's our promise to all the 
more techie people out here that Actito is definitely part of an ecosystem. We are strong defenders that the best of breeds, what we mean by best of breed is Actito is a piece of all the technology you have. You will have type forms, CRM, ERP, video hosting, analytics, just call them. We want to give the ability to the markets here to have the data at the tip of the finger, but we will also help the technical people to be able to connect the dots. And that is the integration framework. We got a lot of documentation about our API and you got some more uh, in-depth documentation over here. Have a look. Tell us what you think about it. Uh, the guys have activated a hot jar on it and Mark would love to have your feedback about it. But I think that is, again, we were doing the first step with the online documentation within Actito. Now we have real documentation to show you. It's not about us, it's about you. It's about how you can leverage that game on a bigger scale. Uh, just to tease it, and if you want, we could build some examples for a next webinar and it doesn't need to be a product release. It's webhooks. Webhooks, it's like that magic stuff that everybody is using. For those that are listening to me and that are maybe a bit less technical, a webhook allows you to listen to something in an external world. The easiest example I find is like you have a My Account, and if John unsubscribed from your newsletter in the My Account, Actito needs to be notified about it. That is definitely what you do with a webhook. Again, Ping your CSM if this is the kind of technology you would like to leverage. You have a My Account, you want to be sure that that sync is perfectly working. Have a look at our documentation. Tell us what you think about it. Of course, you get still access to the full documentation of Actito. I've been talking a lot today about our table and the data mart. Sorry, here you go, Data Studio. That is where you can have a lot of those information as well with our purple table. The webhooks are already documented in here too. So yeah, that was it for today. I think uh, quite 30 minutes, I'm bang on time. So data is there, we extend the models. There is no limits anymore. You should be challenging us to build new templates in it. Uh, tweak those that we've done. Tell us what you think about it. Have a look at the documentation. Use that to change really your game in the journeys. Personalize your targeting, personalize your messaging. We think that this will make you change category in your business and make more, yeah, increase the value over every customer you have as the ultra goal of every good marketeer today. Have a look at our store, Xavier on steroids to connect the dots if you're uh, less technical, but that you want to do some sampling. I do believe that there is a lot of value in that. Binder, and we will go deeper with Binder in the coming uh, weeks as well. I do believe that those guys have really a great uh, offer for all of you. If you want to know more about it, again, ping us. We put you in contact with them. They are really great guys over there that will help you leverage your visuals and really give all the power of the emotions to it as well. And like you saw, framework, integration, documentation, we pushed a lot to give you more and more autonomy. That's what we want to do. That's what we are doing. I want to say a huge thank you to all the guys that were working on that, the folks, the IT, the infrastructure. We're really changing up category to provide you or user a better experience on a daily basis so that you can challenge your game. Tell us what you think about it. That is definitely our goal is your feedback, of course. So shoot as much as you can, social media, jonathan.wierman.actito.com. Tell us what you think about this set, about this release. We want to hear from you. So do. That was it for me today. Uh, have already a great Christmas. Happy New Year for those that I will not see. We are already full of energy for 2020, bringing you a lot of new stuff. So yeah, enjoy those moments. Have a great day and see you soon. Peace. Bye-bye.